Hey guys, and welcome to What's Up Jude. Hello guys. Hi guys. And welcome back to this new episode of What's Up Dude. <laughs> <laughs> We are super happy to be back because it's been, I think, a month. Oh, yeah. No, no, three no, no, weeks. No. Three weeks. Yes, since probably. Since we have recorded weeks. something, so we're super happy to be back. And um, I don't know. Let's let's just update the listeners. So, Leslie, what have you been doing these past few weeks? I'm doing great. First of all, uh, it's sunny outside. College is finally over after a hard uh, year. Uh, you know, pandemic. Oops. Uh, I have met uh, new people, learned new things. So it's it's really good to be out again you know i know right <laughs> <laughs> a year what about you in at home what about me so just yeah. like you i'm super happy because college is finally over yeah well for two months but still we fun. love college but it's just you know during yeah, the pandemic the year... it's it's not college it's it has been i think the most hard sorry the year. hardest hardest year so yeah, yeah um anyway so yeah we don't have a lot of assignment um the, the sun is shining the weather is super great in france so we've been outside and uh yeah so i'm doing pretty good actually yeah but you know today it is not the subject the weather so <laughs> as you have seen as you guys uh, have seen in the title we're going to talk about the toxic productivity society um, I don't even know if this is the right order, but um, <laughs> it's okay. They get it. They, yeah, you get it. So let's jump into the topic. And first of all, I think we need to explain with the, our own words, what yeah. is the toxic, toxic sorry, productivity society <laughs> and how we can describe it. So Leslie, do you want to start? Um, just, uh, I discovered this expression like a few months ago, uh, because of the pandemic again, um, and this, you know, productivity vibe that we all have felt at one moment. Um, for me, it's the fact that sometimes we do things not because we want to, but because we have to, and I'm not talking about, you know, a job and survive or you know, be paid for something, you know, you obviously have uh, to do things that you don't like, but um, it's just the productivity society is just doing for doing. Uh, like if you don't do something, you're wasting your time. Or if you don't do something productive, uh, you're wasting your time. So yeah. That is a good what? way to describe it because I've never thought about it like that. Because for me, it's just the way that it's just like, you know, when you're doing something productive, but then at a certain point, it's going to hurt you and be super harmful for you. So that is just my way to explain it. But I think our okay. two definition can uh, sum up pretty well, well, the yeah, the entire <laughs> thing. So anyway, uh, the first question would be, how do we feel about this? And have we ever felt pushed by someone or the society to do things? Alex, go. Okay. So first, I think for our listeners, they need to know how, how we are as humans. So for me, mm -hmm. I'm the kind of person who is always doing something. Even if I'm, I'm saying, yeah, today I'm going to rest, I need to... I don't know, do something, whether that be watching a movie, uh, gardening, or just, you know, talking with my family. So um, I actually don't feel like the society is pushing me to always do things because um, this is my own trait of personality, doing things all the mm. time. And um, of course, like, I think like everyone in during the pandemic, which is going to, to be the topic after that, um, We've seen many, many people, you know, in the, into the social media posting like, oh, today I did that. Oh, today I did that. So of course, I think this is going to have an impact on me. Well, it has an impact uh, on me, but um, I don't think the society has ever pushed me to, you know, to this point. Mm. 
What about okay. you? Uh, I just want to say that first, when I say society, it means a tons of things. Like it can be people yeah. around you. It can be people that you don't know. It can be social media. It can be uh, advertising. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, it can be so many things. And for our generation, I think society is not just people we meet in the street, but it's obviously social media. Um, and you say that seeing people being productive like make makes ooh, yeah makes you feel bad. And I think that's part of the productivity society that we're living in, because um, in my opinion, it means that there is like an external motivation um, to your productivity, which is the society sometimes, not always, but I don't know if you get it, but um, it's sometimes you decide to do something not because you want or you have to, but because you've seen, so you've seen someone doing, doing it. it. Yeah. yeah. So I'm not going to lie for me, this productivity society uh, can be so stressful for me. Uh, <laughs> uh, in fact, because I think like if you don't have any project in your personal life, people are going to be, oh, wait, real? And so you can feel shitty about that while it's totally normal. You know, sometimes in your life, you don't want to yeah, have... Right any project, you know, yeah. you work and you're like, I'm going to rest uh, when I have, when I have time. So um, social media is the worst for this vibe because like Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, uh, you have also to clearly define uh, the difference between procrastination and, um, you know, n not wanting to participate in this, uh, productivity society so you don't have to be lazy but you have to say okay so today i want to do nothing and that's okay that's it and i think this is something also i'm struggling with like doing nothing sometimes yeah uh you guys let's see is telling me oh alex you you know being bored is okay mm -hmm. and i'm like no i don't like to be bored because I'm always doing something but then I th when you you know you take a step back you realize that being bored is also part of the process because you can like um I was about to say restore but as this is not the world the word uh, like you can refill yourself with new energy and uh, then yeah. be have a clear mind and yeah. then to go on other things to do you know it's just like sleep you know rest and sleep yeah Actually, being bored is sleeping, but when you're not sleeping, <laughs> yeah. that is a concept, Leslie. That and I, <laughs> I think also like toxic productivity society, which is a long expression, um, is even worse when uh, your mental health is not good uh, or that you're not doing things like you're doing things that are mean meaningless for you. So I think it's even more impactful. Uh, but I feel like, as you said, people are more and more aware of the power to rest, to be even more motivated and productivity, producti productive, productive, productive <laughs> afterwards. So, yeah. Uh, so our next, I guess, uh, section would be how do we feel about the COVID-19 crisis? Because I think this toxic productivity, and I think you too, Leslie, um, was born during this time. Mm -hmm. Well, it has existed before, but it was at its peak during yeah. the pandemic. Yeah. So what happened during the first lockdown? Because I think we, we saw all of this during the first lockdown because this second and third lockdown was not we're not sorry quite a lockdown so anyway so and probably maybe um you know it's in france but i don't know if yeah. other countries uh did um did see the same thing as us yeah that's so it. let us know guy actually because we obviously talk about our point of view which is european french point <laughs> of view <laughs> so yeah um 
is it okay if I start to, yeah, yeah, to talk sure. about this one? Okay. Yeah. So for me, I think toxic productivity, as I just said, was, has been growing more and more. Sorry, that is a song, but I will not sing today. And um, when I was in the first lockdown, I did not realize, just like I told you guys, that I was in, well, that I, we were we were all in this, you know, toxic productivity because it's when the first lockdown ended that I saw all of this because people were making video videos about that, like, you know, doing nothing is okay and you don't have to be productive all day. And I want to mention that being productive for someone can ha and for some for you or someone else is like totally different. Mm -hmm. I mean. For me, being productive is like doing as many things as I can before 9 a.m., for example. And for another person, it would just be waking up, you know, because you don't know how much your person has been struggling with the, I don't know, her mental health or other thing in his, her yeah. life. So, yeah. Sorry, my voice. And um, I think the question is also how can we balance is it okay? Yeah. How we can <laughs> balance being productive and not being trapped into this society? That is a real question, actually. And uh, I have many things to say about it. So take your tea, take your wa a cup <laughs> of water. I don't know. So <laughs> um, personally, I think to find balance and not to fall in this toxic productivity is to stick to your principle. I don't really know if this is the right expression to say it, but do you understand what I'm saying, Leslie, actually? About yeah, this? because I think it's the same in French, but I don't know if it's the word in English. So Yeah, um, in French, it would be... Values, maybe? Yeah, stick to your own values. Know, yeah, know your worth, I guess, in a way. Because um, just like, yeah, just like I told you guys, um, being productive for you and another person is completely different and you need to stick to yourself, I guess, to not be influenced because that is the whole point of social media, being influenced. And you can be influenced in a bad way, but also in a good way. So we've just been talking about the bad things, but of course, I think just like everyone, you know, you watch YouTube videos, um, how to be productive, how to do that with more efficiency and for you, so for me, actually, it has a good impact, but for other people, it might have a bad impact. Whew, that was hard. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, we'll stop talking right now. And Leslie, just, you know, you can react to what I just said, you know. Uh, you talk about social media. Uh, Again. We, we've, yeah. We, yeah, we've already talked about it, but I think it's important to, pre to precise. Yeah. Yeah. To gosh, college disclaimer, is over. Okay, disclaimer. so English is, is... <laughs> disclaimer. Like we need to get yeah, precise and uh, being clarify, being explain, clarify. whatever. Um, yeah. <laughs> that um, during the pandemic, uh, especially the first month of quarantine, um, well, twenty twenty, um, our only social link was thanks to social media so you know you you couldn't see your friends your family so i think uh you could be more impacted by social media than before because it was the only way to talk to people to see people to whatever actually to see the outside world um <laughs> so it was even more uh yeah, it has more impact. Um, so as you said, everyone is different, and during the but during the quarantine, uh, we I think we were all the same uh, because of social media. We how can we say that? It's like everyone was on their phone to talk to their friends. So I don't know how to explain that, but. Um, I understand. I understand what you're saying. Like, okay. Um, you just want to say that we could not ex escape this thing because yeah, we were all on this, and this yeah. tiny platform or phone was the only 
way to maintain this connection with other exactly. people. Exactly. And it was where also uh, you can find the Toxic Productivity Society. And at the beginning uh, of the quarantine, of the crisis, I feel like it was a good thing, a good thing, a good thing. Oh my God. Uh, but um, like after, I don't know, one or two months, uh, people, yeah, feel like it's, it's okay. You know, I don't want to do anything. I don't want to learn new languages. I don't want to, I don't want to work out. I don't want to do anything, you know, uh, we're in a pandemic. So the only thing we have to do is survive and that will be enough. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> well said. <laughs> and, um, and of course I'm not talking even for people who lost their job because it's even harder for them. Yeah. And I'm not talking about that because I don't know what it is. Um, but I don't have any advice like you, Alex, you know, find a balance or I don't have any advice because I'm still struggling with doubt, with doubt. Oh my gosh. Uh, so I'm not going to, I'm not going to share you something that I have the solution for. Um, but I think also, uh, we tend to act like, you know, sometimes people are like, oh, I want to be the best version of myself. And so, <laughs> bullshit. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, but it's like um, you by acting the perfect to be perfect. Sorry, and the most productive person we've ever been. We don't really know how to manage our life and our like. We just acting, um, yeah, pretending. Yeah, exactly. So sounds a little bit blurry. What I'm talking about but, but uh yeah just don't be hard on yourself uh especially right now uh but don't be hard because yeah someone you know i've met someone um this week and he told me that uh the pandemic was a great thing for him because he realized that he don't have to be stressed by anything he even for studies you know and he 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 passed sorry he He's, passed he passed his um yeah, yeah he's here yeah. <laughs> not passed you know <laughs> no no pa no passed away no okay okay um he he yeah he he really told me that you don't have to be stressed by anything you know it's easy to say but uh he he take the pandemic as a good thing and it's i think it's a it's a great thing you know but you know um, you're Sorry. Yeah. yeah. Go. What you were saying about pretending for yeah. some people, it might work because there is this yeah. quote, like, you know, fake, fake it, it until you make it, you yeah, make it. it. And for some people, maybe it work. Well, mm. not for me because you know, I'm, you I know. think it works, but, but, <laughs> <laughs> but not for, uh, everything, you know, yeah. Acting yeah. to be productivity. To yeah, be that's productive. Weird. Oh my god. It's it's weird, you know? Yeah. Learn learn to be productive. Okay. That but, is a better word to use yeah. actually. Learn. Yeah. But uh you can fake uh you know your mind to eat healthy and say, mm, it's delicious. And then you, you hate your food. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you can't fake to be productivity. Yeah. To be productive. Oh my god, I'm it's always okay, okay, productive. But also I was like, when you were talking, I was like, you know, um, reminding myself about these good moments actually that I've spent in my quarantine, like in back into t in 2020 mm -hmm. <laughs> and, um, you know, I don't even remember myself spending time on social media to talk to my friends or just to be connected because I don't even know what I was doing. Like, I think I was just with my family okay. and we had this thing, like, you did, know, we did were Did you baking. use drugs, Alex? You can't remember something that happened I, I like swear to God, ago. I cannot remember what I was doing in my quarantine, <laughs> except <laughs> baking, eating, doing it. Yeah, we did a contest, you know, actually, I told you about that. A, quoi? a pastry contest. A, quoi? a Français? A contest, which is a, um, I don't even remember the French word for that contest i forgot the french word okay, un concours great. un concours ah okay a con oh, a pastry, yeah. pastry contest with my family you know like we were all doing 
like pastries and then we were like grading it and uh, I win actually. <laughs> Anyway, so yeah, so you know, when you were talking about that, like the fact that social media was the only way to con to be connected to the other world, mm -hmm. I don't even know if I use social media, like, in that way. I remember that um, I quit Twitter at the beginning of COVID-19, like, it was December 2019, like, yeah. the real beginning, yeah, so yeah, I, quit, yeah. I, I quit Twitter. Uh, I quit Snapchat like two I months think after. We've talked about that in our yeah episode. Yeah, we're we're yeah, going to uh, link the episode, by the way, yeah. in this yeah. episode. <laughs> and then um, I remember that I, I I don't remember clearly March and April. Do you take but... drugs, Leslie? <laughs> okay, so the podcast is over. Thank you, everyone. See, I'm not the only no. one who can remember. Yeah, but let me finish. Um, so yeah, uh, I ate a lot. But um, I remember that I had this summer job and I was always on Instagram uh, during my uh, breaks. Ooh. Uh, during my breaks, I was always on, on Instagram. And I remember that when I finished this job uh, at the beginning of August, I was like, okay, Instagram is over. And I spent like three months without social media. So I remember that I spent a lot, a lot of time because uh, to do it like social media detox, you yeah, have yeah. to spend time. So yeah, that's it. That is scary. I'm, I'm just, I'm just thinking of myself not remembering what I did. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that is really scary. Like I don't even, I don't even have picture. So you have, picture. have slept like three months and you wake up, you, you wake up like that. You woke up, sorry, like that. Yeah. I don't even remember that. Anyway, <laughs> I don't even remember what we did at school. That's okay. Um, oh, I, I remember. I, I, I have well, to, ooh, my voice. I had to to record myself. Oh yeah, <laughs> you know, in my garden while my neighborhood was like the music, that. and I was like, yeah, and I was like, God, I have to make a video, and they're singing. Uh, okay. I remember that actually. <laughs> I can remember <laughs> your memories, but not my memories. Anyway. <laughs> so yeah, it was um. I think it was a really interesting talk that we have here because we usually don't talk about this toxic productivity mm. society and we we've been like really thinking about this um since a long time with leslie doing this episode but um we were not sure you know how to introduce it to you and mm. actually i don't even know if people are going to listen to this one if you're listening right now thank you very much and um because um that was really French, this expression. <laughs> anyway, um, so guys, please let us know what you're thinking and what you, like what you want to say about this topic, because we usually don't talk about it very often. So that will be interesting to have others, other opinions. So yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let me finish the podcast. Okay, so if you liked it, subscribe and share to your friends. <laughs> If you liked it even more, please follow follow <laughs> us. Sorry, follow us on social media at WhatsApp Jade Pod. Everything yeah. will be in the description of this episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And please don't be shy to talk with us on Instagram. Yeah, I, I think that's it. That's your speech. Did you say everything? Mm. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I think it's the end. Stay tuned, guys, because maybe new things are coming with the yeah. podcast. Yeah. And um, we hope also that you like the previous episode, um, which um, which is which was sorry the episode with um our guest Ellie Kim. Yeah. And um, maybe new guests are coming. You'll never Maybe. know. So Ooh. just stay tuned and yeah, thank you for listening and enjoy your your life, I was about to say. <laughs> enjoy, enjoy your, your life. Day. Yeah. <laughs>
enjoy your day enjoy your night i don't know when you're listening to this and um take care bye bye bye